Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to Broman Brapsody. This is where we review cars and some of the most beautiful motorcycles. And today we are at Indian Motorcycle Greensboro Triad with the one, the only, my sensei. How are you? Great. How are you, bro, man? Living the dream. Living the dream. And what do we have here right in front of us? This looks, first of all, let me just say this is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. Well, this is a brand new Indian Chief Dark Horse. And uh, this is an amazing machine. It, has, it comes equipped with the uh, 116 cubic inch Thunderstroke engine, which rolls out 120 foot pounds of torque stock. Ooh. Now this one's gonna have a little more because it has the full stage one kit with the uh, stage one map on it. Um, so it's gonna be even a little bit, little bit hotter. This was hotter. Mm -hmm. So this right here is the 2022 Indian Chief Bobber Dark Horse. And in today's episode, we're gonna talk about the bike. Yes. We're gonna learn from the sensei. Uh, we're gonna walk around, see some features of this bike. I'm gonna take it out on the road, share my thoughts with you guys, assign a bromance score, do the cost of ownership, all that fun stuff. If you're new to Broman, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. We put out content every week and your support would mean a lot. It's me, it's your boy bro, and I am your bro man. There are, there are a lot of features about this bike that they're on it from the factory that are drawing a lot of customers to it. 100% the bob fenders, the matte paint for sure. Um, also just the fact of the way that we have the fork covers here and the uh, spring covers in the back on the rear suspension. It gives it a really clean but muscular, muscular look. look. And uh, nice wide tires on it. Again, this is top trim line because we have the four inch ride command oh. screen and we also have the 160 16 cubic inch Thunderstroke engine. It does come uh, with a four gallon gas tank. It's bike because the bobber does come set up for solo riding, but it can easily be set up for two up riding. Two up riding, yeah. I mean, it's just when you lay eyes on it, there's, in, unless you just don't like motorcycles, you're gonna be attracted, attracted. to this bike. Again, with the mini um, apes, mm -hmm. it also has a really relaxed and enjoyable rider position. Mm -hmm. But when you're on it, anybody that sees you coming down the road, knows that you you appear and you are a part of the bike, part of the bike yeah. it's a low seat height so i'm guessing this is very customizable i could have a rear set saddlebags of some sort if i wanted to absolutely yeah not only in in terms of the look of the bike and the ergonomics but also there's a lot more custom work that can be done on the performance um, the next phase for this bike we would probably be looking at cams and then pro and, and a custom tune and uh, mm -hmm. on this size bike with starting with a base of 116 cubic inches Performance wise, you could go over the top on oh, this. Man. It could really be amazing. But like you said, there's a lot that can be done for the look as well, including adding saddlebags. Saddlebags mm -hmm. can be added, windshield can be added. Yeah. And there's a lot of customers that are gonna do that um, and put those parts on and off because it would be a quick release windshield mm -hmm. because some folks are gonna wanna take this bike, it's big enough to ride on long distance and be comfortable. Comfortable, yeah. Even though right off the rip, it looks like a traditional bar hopper, but there's a lot more here than that. And you can do bar hopping on it as well if oh, you want to. Oh, absolutely. It's Nothing wrong with hop that. to your heart's content. <laughs> and you know, and you guys, if you have the 116, you gotta get the stage two kit at some point of time. You know? I agree. You got, I got, it's been a, such a life changer with the cams and everything. It's, you just gotta have the stage two kit. A hundred percent. And here at this store, we now have a great relationship with our buddies down at Lloyd's Performance. And we're now a remote tuning center for Lloyd's and, and uh, certainly dropping, um, having, uh, it, for an owner of, the, of this bike that went with and added the cams that came back in, we can help them put a custom tune on there. Nice. So, and I, I think that um, I think that they're going to be picking bugs out of their teeth. They're they're going to be smiling so much. Hey, you got to absolutely, you absolutely got to. But thank you, Sensei. This is a beautiful bike. You mind if I do a quick walk around and show Please. them around the bike? Absolutely. Beautiful LED headlamps with the DRL, and check out the Bob Fender up front. The big fat bobber tire. <laughs> See, it says Indian here. It's engraved in here and it's it's like a throwback design, you see? <laughs> I like it. On the side, it has the stage one breather kit. It says it's a 116. So that way you know it's a bobber dark horse. It's got the 116 cubic inch, the Thunderstroke 116. Indian motorcycle logo down there. Check out the beautiful matte finish of the tank. I love it. And on the top of the tank, you have this little medallion with the Indian motorcycle logo. Minimalistic design. Clean look here. Uh, on the left-hand side for your handlebar controls, you have your horn, high beam, low beams, 
turn signals, uh, your music selection and going through the menu. On the top, you have the toggle option to go through the menu. And on the right hand side, you have the power button and the kill switch starter as well as cruise control. <laughs> you have the gorgeous teardrop shaped Indian mirrors. I love these. Moving further down below, this has a 26 inch seat height. So, since it's a bobber in its category, it just comes with the uh, rider seat as stock. You don't get a passenger seat, but you can add a passenger seat if you so choose to. Here you have the two turn signals and tail lights, side mount for the license plate holder, dual exhausts, and it's a belt drive. As for the exhaust, these are the Indian stage one exhaust. Not very loud, but they have a nice throatiness and a good punch to them. Moving further along, I just love the blacked out. All of these blacked out elements, and they, they go really well with the, the tank and the rest of the bike has a matte black finish whereas the cylinder heads and parts of it have that shiny gloss black they go very well together and then bring in the chrome pipes yeah and the middle is your beautiful ride command center but before i show that this is the key fob for the indian chief beautiful nice it's really nice to the touch you just need this key fob keep it in your pocket and then you can just hit the power button and check this out boom the gorgeous graphic the indian motorcycle graphic i love that on the right command center okay. you have warning lights on the side neutral turn signals abs check engine air pressure all of that good stuff here and this is all touch screen so if it, this brings you to the main menu you have gauges bike your ride you can connect it to your phone you can connect it to your phone you can play your music your maps and this comes with navigation so if you hit navigation this is really cool yeah you have your turn by turn navigation here you can enter it a destination and you hit this it brings you back to the screen you can hit gauges It'll give you more options different kind of gauges outside temperature battery fuel economy range current ride this then it'll just go through the different screens that you have pretty cool right and then if you click on this this brings up your riding modes so this comes with three riding modes two standard sport and you can adjust the brightness it's very uh, practical and you get a lot of information over here like you'd get on the big ride command screen on the bigger baggers and tourers like I do it on my uh, Roadmaster. But it's really compact and it's part of this whole minimalistic look. The bike, this has a 29 degree rake angle. What's a rake angle you ask? Well, door perpendicular from the steering mount, follow the fork cubes. That angle is your rake angle. Shorter the rake angle, the more nimble the bike is and larger the rake angle, the more stable it is at higher speeds, highway speeds and such. For the front, it's got a fat bobber tire and it comes with a single disc. And at the heart of the motorcycle is the air-cooled 116 cubic inch or 1901 cc's American V-Twin. This puts out about 79 horses and 120 foot-pound of torque. So can you tell my viewers what is this place, Indian Motorcycle Greensboro Triad? Yeah, so Indian Motorcycle Greensboro Triad, we did start out in Greensboro, North Greensboro, Carolina, yeah. Carolina, as one of the very first uh, Indian motorcycle dealerships under Polaris, yeah. uh, after Polaris purchased the brand. And uh, in the, this year, in 2022, we have moved to our new facility here, uh, still in Guilford County, North Carolina, but just outside of Greensboro and High Point, North Carolina. So we did a little name adjustment to Indian Motorcycle Greensboro Triad. Triad. So people knew that it was the same great store, just with uh, a new location. Mm -hmm. And we've got a great crew here. We invite you to come by and see us sometime, 2924 North Main Street, and also Indian Motorcycle Greensboro Triad.com. Right on. And they're also gold certified. The service center is gold certified. And Monty right here, He's a gold certified technician himself. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, we, we, we don't like to see me back there with tools in my hand, but at the same time, I've gone through the certifications. It helps me communicate better, not only with my service staff, but also with our customers. But this is a great place. Come on down, check them out. I'll put the link in the video description below. And when they come here, who should they say send them to you? Well, I think they better say Broman sent them here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot my watch today. Do you have a watch? Do you know I what do. time it is? You know, looking at my watch, it actually says, it's right o'clock. It's right o'clock. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. So if you guys are new to Broman, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. We put out content every week and your support would mean a lot. Let's get started. Let's hear how this puppy sounds with the stage one kit. <laughs> Let's get started with our first test. Let's make a couple of U-turns and see how this puppy maneuvers, shall we? Ha 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 ha. 
All right, all right, not bad. Oh, actually, not bad. So I'm not used to riding a bike with apes or mini apes, so that's on me. <laughs> uh, but it's actually not bad. <laughs> uh, I love that little punch and the thump and the chugga 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 of the V twins. Love it, love it, love it. So I did go ahead and put it in sport mode, and let's do let's do a second test. Let's do a pull test. See how this will be pulled, shall we? <laughs> a Thunderstroke 116 with the stage 1 kit uh, Yeah, you weren't expecting it to have any pull, did you? Huh? No, it does and it's a fun little pull And in sport mode Sport mode is where the fun's at you guys Sport mode is where the fun's at uh, The throttle is very responsive, almost twitchy, like check this out like ready to go 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 <laughs> let's talk about the first impressions of this motorcycle well i am sitting quite upright uh i have these mini apes and so i don't have to reach out for the handlebars and as uncomfortable as you might think apes and mini apes are it's actually not that bad uh, i'm not reaching out for them my arms are pretty loose i'm sitting quite comfortably my legs are not bent weirdly at all the seating position and the ergonomics are quite good as for wind protection there is none it's a, a 47 degree day today uh, so it's a little chilly um, I have my leather jacket on so I'm not getting I'm getting hit by a lot of wind on my chest and torso uh, a lot of there's no wind protection over here or at the bottom so I'm getting hit by a lot of wind I think it's coming up to its first service or due for its first service so you have that check engine light on but that just means service is due uh, we're probably gonna get it in for service at some point of time ah there's the Indian there's the Thunderstroke <laughs> the 116 with the prop and the kick <laughs> so yeah all right back to our first impression thing yeah and these mirrors man i love the teardrop mirrors you can see a lot out of them not a lot of vibration going on so yeah um, the seat is comfy now i'm at a stoplight i can flat foot this very easily it's a uh, the seat height on this bike is about 26 inches so and i'm 510 with a 31 inch inseam no problem whatsoever and the other thing this bike is probably close to 700 pounds uh with all the fluids it's called the wet weight i think yeah and when you're at a stoplight or you're stopped the balance is so well that it keeps the bike upright it's not trying to go one way or the other <laughs> oh, i love the chugga 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 give me more chugga 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 <laughs> Ooh, let's check out some riding mode shall we let's put it in tour mode close throttle that engages touring mode uh, touring mode is pretty chill like you have to roll on the throttle before it wakes up but it wakes up <laughs> touring mode is good too man i like it i like all modes on all motorcycles so yeah <laughs> and when i go with, over these bumps on the road dang man it feels so good i mean feels so good in the sense like you don't feel a lot of these bumps on the road you know it just glides over them so what the indian pipes have done is they're not very loud yeah but they're very deep and throaty and you know it's, well, it's not raspy or like thin like it's like at lower rpms nothing but as you go up yeah <laughs> that's what i like that's what i like <laughs> Alright, so we got a little sidetrack being on touring mode so on touring mode this bike feels uh, i mean the handling does not change it's just the throttle response and the throttle response is nice and chill like you can ease on to it ease on to it now that being said as i'm having all this fun uh i was talking about the lack of wind protection right yeah i feel that my hands 
my arms, my upper body, legs, everywhere. <laughs> uh, and yeah, on cold days, yeah, not, not gonna be a lot of fun. Now, granted, you can get a windshield for this bike, and uh, yeah, to stop some of the wind from hitting your chest and your helmet and stuff, uh, and probably heated grips will help, but there's not a lot of wind protection that you can do on a bike like this. Now, these are meant to be minimalistic, uh, to be like, you know, to be cruising in style and making a statement and not worrying about like little uh, problems like wind protection and stuff. Eh? <laughs> when you're a badass, you don't really care about all these things, do you? You can't be a badass and be like, oh, the wind protection isn't so great. <laughs> See, I'm a big fan of the Thunderstroke 116 as opposed to the Thunderstroke 111. Now, I'm not saying the 111 is a bad engine, but I'm used to the 116 on my Roadmaster. And every time I ride a 116, I just love the thump and the sound and the chugga chugga that this brings the character of the 116. Uh, the 111 is pretty good, but to me, it's always been the 116 or nada. <laughs> I'm glad I'm doing this. I did a 111 Super Chief uh, maybe a year ago, a little over a year ago. Yeah, no, I like the 116 better. It's just a little thump. <laughs> Ooh, this, it cackles and pops and like, bah, I don't like what you're doing to me, boy. I was talking about the balance of the bike and check this out. Very well balanced, man. Very well balanced. All of these Indian motorcycles have been hitting. The balance and the design and the ride quality it's just they're just hitting this out of the park man every single time now is this a good bike for commuting yeah it is now you could add saddlebags like leather saddlebags and stuff like that to this bike tank bag whatever or you could carry stuff in a backpack but yeah this would be good for commuting it's not uh, superly huge or anything like that uh, it's pretty nimble it's it's good and it looks really good i think it's, it'll be great for commuting now is this a good bike for touring well uh warm weather touring sure uh so far it's been really comfy to me i've not been feeling any of the bumps or bruises on the road and check out the balance no hands still staying upright yeah and it's got plenty of power to pass people on the highways or whatever so yeah, touring should not be a problem on this. The only thing is, this does not have any wind protection. So probably on warmer days, warmer days it's good. Colder days, no good. <laughs> now, is it a good bike for uh, beginners? Well, uh, depends on the level of your beginnerhood. <laughs> Are you brand new to motorcycling or are you someone who's been riding for a couple of years or has ridden in the past? If you're brand new to motorcycling, uh, I'd stay away from this. A uh, couple of reasons, it costs a little over $20,000. It still puts out a good amount of power. And it's at 700 pounds. It's probably not the best beginner bike, you know, those three things combined. Now, if you're someone who's ridden before or has some riding experience and wants to get back on the saddle and do it again, yeah, I think this should be fine. Uh, as long as you have throttle control, you should be fine. <laughs> I like this bike, man. I'll be honest with you guys. Like, it's light. I mean, when I say light, I mean, it's lighter than my Roadmaster. Definitely. Uh, I did the Roadmaster last week, right? So this is like back to back. Um, so going from 950 pounds to about 700, a little less than 700. That's a big difference. Uh, but it's also got a shorter wheelbase and all that good stuff. I like it. Alright, so what about the cost of ownership? So, in conclusion, this is a bomber. Uh, not much of a wind protection, not any wind protection thing going on. Uh, you get them mini apes i love the look of the bike uh, the mat the mat paint the box fenders and all of that and, and it's got the thunderstroke 116 so it's punchy it's so punchy and with the stage one kit it's punchier <laughs> uh, 
this is gonna be fun to commute on fun for a weekend riding uh, and it's gonna be good for touring uh, on warmer days on colder days yeah there's no wind protection man so not the best for touring on colder days warmer days you should be just fine you can do two up riding on this bike let's set up, set up for that you just have to get a rear seat and you're gonna dust the suspension and things like that on it for sure and of course this is not the best beginner bike just because it's at 116 so yeah overall man i'm having a lot of fun on this bike See you. I'm gonna keep riding, keep your knees in the breeze. Thanks for watching. Bro out.